Hi you guys, this is Juanita from MyPinkRoom.com and it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been just busy with work and the holidays and I started making these fleece blankets so that pretty much occupied most of um, my time. But the blankets, I made about six or seven for family members in my, um, for family members for Christmas and my hands were tired from all that cutting that I had to do and so on. So busy days, but um, I've been needing to make a um, little mini album for one of my co-workers for her grandkids. She has six of them. So um, I chose to do a six by six little mini and um, she has a six grandkids and I made two pages for each of the kids and each um, set of pages has um, two tags so she could add some journaling for each of the pictures and some more pictures on the back. So um, you know what I completely threw away the paper line that I used. I have no idea of who it was but it was pretty much a um, kind of like a baby themed type thing and her oldest grandchild was 10 and the next oldest was being eight and then after that it's a two five-year-olds and two one-year-olds so predominantly they were younger so I went ahead and kind of used um, this cute little paper line with um, pastel colors and some dark browns in there. Um, for the title I just used some stickers you know my grandbabies um, and then tied it with some brown uh, ribbon instead of using like the rings. On the first set of pages, um, the paper line came with already tags that you just needed to cut out and there was like two pages of just different cutouts and what I kind of looked at it as embellishment type things and um, I ended up just kind of cutting out um, this flag that said sweet baby. I ended up individually cutting it out, used some um, twine and just adhered that. And then um, there was like a strip of words that I ended up just cutting that strip out and then just using one of these Fiskars, I think it was. Um, I think there was like three, I don't have it, I think it's still in the, in the car. But it was, um, it came with like a corner punches to make your own little frame type things. And one corner punch was wide enough to cut the words out. So I ended up just pop dotting those up. She could slide her picture under there. Same thing with here. Um, pictures could slide under here and some of it is pop dotted up. And again, each of the um, books comes with um, some tags and on the back she could add another photo and then do the journaling for that. But again, these were like the um, sh a 12 by 12 sheet of tags that all I needed to do the, was cut and um, I ended up inking, distressing the edges and inking it up. And um, each set of tags, either I put some buttons and some ribbon or lace, etc. Um, again, just some embellishments that I ended up just cutting out, added some little um, stickles here, some crinkle ribbon, again, just little pieces of embellishment. Um, pieces of uh, pictures from the cardstock that I just cut out and again pop dotted it up so she could slide her pictures under there and again um, you know tags tags and then pretty much the back side is this green um, checkered and again just like ribbon ribbon and some some buttons Um, this was again a strip, watch me grow inch by inch, I'll be done before you know. And um, again if you notice it's, you know, um, I tried to use not neutral colors but just like the pink, blues, yellows and greens. This one was for a girl. The blue I'm hoping that she'll know that it's for the one year old boy. And then um, we get older, we get um, to the five-year-old, so I kind of didn't make them too babyish, but still, um, you know, kind of just cutesy as they get older. So this was for a five-year-old 
boy, I believe, and then this one is for the five-year-old girl. Again, little embellishments that I pop dotted up, cut cut all these little pieces out from the cardstock. Um, some crinkle ribbon, same the rain ribbon used here. Just she could slide her picture under there. Some flowers that were pink already, and just added some of the stickles. And then for the owl, just added some little eyes, and then I ended up. Um, glossy axing the little L. And again, ribbons, I mean, um, tags, you know, for her, you know, added pictures and for her journaling. And then just the ribbon and buttons. This one's for the five-year-old boy. Um, used, tried to use some blues in there. I think I'm going to add like a plate for his name. Um, to go in there and again you know more tags for journaling and for pictures and then the blue to, to help her let her know this is for you know the boy and then the last page again um, just real simple I've used some corner um, some corners um, these were white just um, use vintage photo on them and then crackled them up um, again, just some leftover embellishment, pop dotted them up so her picture still slides under there. And then I'll add um, the boy's name with just my um, label maker and just simply add that and maybe some buttons, some blue buttons right there. And then for the back of it, um, again, just some, some of the cutout tags that came on a 12 by 12. And then on the back of it, it was just something um, sweet. And it says, sometimes it's the little, it's the smallest things. I can't even read it. It's the smallest things that take up the most room in your heart. And it's uh, a quote from Winnie the Pooh. So here was my little six by six um, mini. And gosh, I wish I didn't throw away the paper line um, to let you know because it was really cute. <clears throat> it was double-sided, so I think I literally was only maybe five or six pages that I used. And then the cardstock was just the regular brown cardstock that I think went good with the um, paper line. But um, there you go. And, and I don't know if you could see, but I ended up um, just, again, with, uh, I think it was like diamond dust. Not diamond dust diamond something um, stickles that was really simple but it get, gave it that little added bling to it well I hope you enjoyed this and I also have a doggy book that I did for my um, for my dog so I'll be back to do a video for that one you guys have a great day thank you